Hello everyone, welcome back to Full Stack Laravel and Vue.js application development tutorial series. Um, in the last video, we have shown you uh, the tag and I, uh, some one of you from you has asked me to zoom in. It's a little bit awkward, I think. Yeah, this looks too much zoomed in and a little bit disturbing, but let's uh, go with it for now and uh, let's see if you guys can see the code. Okay, and uh, some of you has uh, altered me why I wrap the uh, property inside of a uh, object. So someone has told me that I can use uh, directly instead of using data dot tag name, I can uh, use uh, directly uh, tag name. So let me show you why I do not use uh, tag name or anything any property directly, and instead I use inside of an object. So if, if here you can see I have used tag name here for adding the data and uh, editing the data. So I cannot use the same true property multiple times, and it will give me error. For example, here I used i, and also I have an um, this dot i for uh, in, uh, info. So I'm getting an error as well here. So that's why uh, we should uh, wrap it up in a, a object. And once you have a bigger application and you have a multiple form, so it will be a nightmare to control all of the single property. And it will look like um, uh, floating everywhere. All of your properties values floating. So there should be under something which you can easily uh, navigate through. Okay, let's go ahead and move on uh, to our application and let's see where we have. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and we have a group set up for you guys so that you can ask your question and join uh, in the group. So let's go ahead and let us know your question if you have any. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, we, uh, last day we did up to uh, deleting Perth and here we have some problem and then we saw notice that in, it was uh, by default showing this deleting. And so let's go ahead and solve that. And I already has been defined as data property, so we have this error as well. So instead of I, so let's uh, change it to uh, deleting index. So let's go ahead. And here we have a delete model. And here, instead of show delete model, we should show. Uh, We should show is deleting to something false so if we are deleting uh, then we should uh, disable the button and show the delete and here we have a delete tag so here we have a delete tag so if we come here then we will see that uh, okay we are deleting this one and then we are splicing uh, this dot i so we don't have any, any i here so what we have to do we have to delete from <coughs> this index and we have to actually uh, assign the uh, deleting index to here and we are showing the deleting model and then once we are uh, deleting so when the deleting is being processed we should show something like this this store is deleting equal to and after everything is in that, we should say, okay, deleting call false, and also we should uh, close the model. Perfect, so yeah, that should be fine for now. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do, yeah, you see? Perfect, so that thing is, has been gone now, gone. And if you refresh the page, it's gone now, okay? So far so good, let's, uh, also the arrow has gone here from here. So let's go ahead and create a category and category has a file upload feature. So we have to upload pictures. So let's move on and uh, create our new routes. And here we have, uh, well, let's change this route into, uh, it doesn't make sense to keep them in component and pages. So let me uh, refactor everything a little bit again. And uh, there is a few important thing coming in the next videos, which is uh, our admin panel is going to be finished in uh, after a few videos. Then we have to set up the front end as well. So that means we have to have a, a very good separate project. So here, let's make a new folder called admin. And inside admin, we can have new folder that's called components so if we have uh, any component so initially i was thinking to have um, a gallery system instead of uploading file i can have a gallery system so i will see how can i do that 
and then we have a new folder that's got it pages okay so that's perfect and yeah under pages we will um, have a new page let's say text.view and under pages we will have let's say category dot view perfect so uh, let's go ahead and uh, ship all these tags uh, text.view project uh, from code from this component file to our admin folder and text okay so let's shift everything first and here we go let's close uh, the close everything from here and let's check them out so this is under component and this is under the pages okay so we have uh, admin and yeah okay let's check, check it out where it is uh, currently it's saying under resources just admin component pages starts to be so yeah it should not be under the component so again it's a mistake so uh, it should be under pages instead so let's take this code again and actually delete this to file and under this one text.view okay okay I am having a little problem here so let's delete this one yeah so let's create a new folder admin and pages okay so admin has pages and under pages let's have a file called text.view there you go so we have just admin pages then text.view perfect so instead uh, in our router instead of pointing text in component we will uh, admin project pages so here we will be referencing to our admin then pages then text dot uh, text so we can remove uh, this one yeah so let's delete uh, this file I'm having a little bit problem uh, because of this zoom in feature but yeah since you have requested let's go ahead with your zoom in feature Okay, let's see if we have any error at the moment seems everything perfect so yeah so let's go ahead and create our new page under admin and then pages let's call it category view admin pages category view and we have this component pages that was for testing and actually we will not be using any of those so yeah that was just a testing purpose uh, let's keep them here as well okay so let's copy all the code from the tag and paste it in the category page that's okay that's perfect for now and here let's uh, create a new raw category and this is mostly like a copy paste job at the moment category category add a new menu item and this menu item will be called category and it will uh, also go to the category page let's make it a little bigger so perfect we have now category page uh, up and running and it's using the same old things and let's start with uh, let's forget these things for now and here we will have a, a file upload feature let's go ahead and see how we can have a file upload feature this is very important you have to understand uh, the basic of file uploading uh, here we have something we can use this one this one seems to be really cool to me and I do really like it using it and here we have another one so you can do some testing how you can upload that you see it's getting uploaded okay so let's go ahead and use this one mm. They have the documentation as well, so yeah, let's go ahead and use them. 
is this one. So let's remove this uh, one as well. We have three models, so we do, let's keep the first one and minimize the others. And here it should say add category. And category has a has an icon. An icon is an image, so we have to take that image as well. And it's not a multiple image, so let's take each one and see the design. Perfect, so we have a image here. Okay, let's make this one a little bit down. With the divs, uh, uh, the class space. So it will add 10 pixel mar margin, top and bottom. Okay, perfect, so we have it here. Now, three things you have to take care about is that we will be adding action action is the route where it will be hitting so let's call app upload maybe we have a route defined with that name yeah app upload admin controller upload so let me go admin controller we don't have any so let's go ahead and create one and let's go to the web.php file we have a post method uh, app upload and let's go ahead and use that in let's remove the tags from here okay perfect so so far is so good and let's go ahead and see if uh, the request is passed because sometime you will be blocked because of the csr token yeah we have been blocked so here is a 419 uh, page expired that means we are having a um, CSR problem so we have to solve that so let me show you how you can pass your CSR token as well if I do a page uh, resource so I have a here window.laravels this is the CSR token you can actually in your view application you can have your CSR token um, uh, published like this so yeah so right now uh, you can have it like this okay so here, this uh, this is the default Laravel behavior, Laravel uh, function. Then it will inject um, this CSRF token inside CSR property, uh, inside the window object of Laravel. So you can do that as well. So if you come here, okay, it's not like this. So if you do window dot Laravel, yeah, you see, we have the CSRF token here. Okay that's perfect and now we have we can have an we can attach and headers so let's go ahead and you'll see we can have a header here okay so let's have a new variable call it let's say token and on created let's assign this token this to token equal window dot Laravel dot CSRF token okay so this token will be um, filled and now with our file upload we can actually pass uh, our header as a header so we can pass headers like this we can pass an object so object can be X C S R F token and it can be token perfect so if we send the token like this it should be fine now we should not be able to uh, get restricted now we should be able to pass let's upload it, uh, some image see we are able to go through so no more errors to under request now let's upload the picture. Let's see what it said. It says file. So our property name uh, that is sent is called file. So let's upload a file. Uh, let's upload the file here. Let's take the request. Request. And then let's call it some, um, let's say the pick and the name. Pick name is, let's take a time and then 
we will have the request file and then we will get the extension let's see what kind of name we get extension I'm not sure if the spelling is correct okay let's go ahead and check yeah PNG so we are getting the file name now let's upload this picture and um, we can upload like this request file so it has to be fine this one has to be the exact same name as the property given as a binary so request file and we should move it to um, public path and inside public path we will upload it to the upload folder and we are going to upload with this name and after that we will simply return the picture name so that we can reference that in our front end okay so everything should be fine 218 picture should be uploaded um, let's go ahead and check in our project it should be gone to public folder and yes upload so 218 has a picture 218 so we can we can open the picture here perfect so the file has been uploaded successfully uh, in next video I will go through and show you how you can upload the picture and the category okay I will work on the category in my next videos thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe this video uh, subscribe this channel and share this video and uh, yeah and of course yeah don't forget to uh, hit the like button and if you have any problem go to our Facebook pay, uh, group and also like our Facebook page for new updates coming on and uh, stick with us please and yeah hope to see you soon again uh, have a nice time guys bye